Hey, how are you? Good. Who are you waiting for today? I am waiting for my sister, Rebecca. She is coming in from Winnipeg. Okay, is she coming in just to visit, or has it been a long time? It's or? been a long time. We've never met. Um, You've never met? Never met. Uh, we have the same father. Uh, just had separate lives, and finally come to a point where we actually get to see each other in person, so very excited. You've never met this woman before? Nope. Who's she, your sister? She is from my uh, father's third wife. How many times was your father married? Uh, he's been married four times. So I actually have five half-brothers and sisters. My father was a bit of a traveler, we'll say, and uh, he wasn't really in the picture too much. So I was very mad that I felt like I was deserted, if you will, and I guess I held a lot of grudges with my father. And uh, I ended up uh, being raised by my grandparents um, up until I was like 16, 17. Um, didn't really know any of the whereabouts of my father, so I didn't get a chance to uh, strike up a relationship with uh, my other siblings. Uh, married my high school sweetheart, Lori. Uh, we've been married 30 years this August, which only marriage. One marriage, 30 years. We have two wonderful children. And in the last couple of years, a lot of things have happened in my life as far as wanting to get to know my siblings from, from my other uh, families. Take me, can you take me back to that? What, what happened? Well, it's just... Uh, Unfortunately, I, uh, I lost my best friend two years ago from a heart attack. Um, Dale was a terrific friend. I've known Dale for 30 years. He was just a big biker guy. Looked like an angry bear on the outside, but teddy bear on the inside. Uh, always there for me. Would do anything for you. The guy you could call at any time and he would be right there for you. In my eyes, he was my older brother, without a doubt. How did you hear the news? Uh, Lori and I were in the rec room watching TV. Lori answered the phone, and she looked over at me, and she said, Dale's gone. And uh, saw my son. That's, that's when it did it. That's when I broke down. And again, that's that father-son bond. And, it's the kind of bond I had with Dale. It was that close. And uh, I guess it took me to see my son to realize how much I miss my friend, so. I don't know, just losing Dale just broke my heart. And it really just, uh, it hit something with me as far as family went and uh, wanted to start looking up my dad. I imagine with you talking to him, it was kind of a day of reckoning. Oh, for sure. You want to get it off your chest. What, you what did you want to get off your chest? First how, and foremost. how angry I was that he abandoned me, abandoned all us kids. Did your dad ever say sorry to you? He ever sit you down and oh, go, yeah. I'm yeah, he's, sorry? He's apologized, yep. Still have some issues with things, but I think if you ask any son, you, never, you don't lose that bond with your dad. All you can do is, is try to forgive and forget and try to go on from here. You know, we get together a couple times a week now. He always brings me a coffee, and hopefully from here it only gets better. And if you Dale know. was still living, I might not be here today. So what are you thinking about as you wait for Rebecca now? I'm just really hoping she likes me and likes my family, and, uh, so I'm sure she's got a thousand questions for me. And I have a thousand questions for her. What's the first thing you're going to say to her when you see her? I love you. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's, uh, yeah, it's been too long. And I'll never leave her. I'll always be here for her. Pleasure. Pleasure to meet you, my friend. Yeah, take and, care. Uh, appreciate everything. Yeah, take care of yourself. Okay, thank you. Okay. Bye.
Let go. And this is for you. <laughs> for a moment.